EJ, this is an exciting moment, I'm sure, for you. It's been a week since you walked up onto that stage and had your name announced, saying that you were coming to the Pelicans. What's this week been like for you? Uh, this week's re been really exciting, honestly. Uh, I was at home with my family, uh, just taking it all in. Um, just really excited for the opportunity of Pelicans taking a chance on me and uh, me being down in New Orleans. Uh, I know I have a lot of family from New Orleans, so uh, I'm just really excited about getting started and just being ready. It was an emotional day for you. I saw some tears and some excitement. What was going through your mind when you got that call and you said, they said, okay, you're going to the NBA? Uh, it was a lot of mixed emotions, a lot of happiness, uh, a lot of sadness, uh, just because I know a lot of family members there who couldn't be there with me. Um, but I was really excited, just really happy. Uh, uh, just hearing my name called on the TV <laughs> was really awesome. And, uh, it was probably a surreal moment. Yeah, very surreal. Uh, it was all kicking in, like uh, walking into my uh, party at home, just seeing all my family members, all my friends. It was really exciting. And uh, when I heard my name called, it was very surreal. So. Who was the most excited? I don't know. Uh, it was a lot of people excited. Uh, everybody from my area was very excited. Uh, but if I had to say someone, I could say probably my mom. My mom was really excited as well as my little brother. So oh, that's sweet. Yeah. That's very sweet. I'm sure that Buckeye Nation is very excited that you are moving on and coming here to play for the Pelicans and in New Orleans. You have been said to be a leader on the court and off the court. What would you tell the incoming freshmen who are gonna be playing in your spot next year? Uh, I would tell the freshmen who are gonna play in my spot next year just to have fun with it, uh, enjoy every single moment that you uh, have there. Uh, Cause I know I enjoyed every single moment there, just uh, on the court and off the court, bonded with teammates, the coaches, and uh, just enjoy it. Just enjoy the fans, the, um, the students, uh, walking to class is always super fun. And uh, just the time there is always special, so. Talking about the leadership, with knowing that you played a big role in helping lead your team, how do you feel like you're going to do with the veterans as a rookie this year? <laughs> do you feel like you're going to take that same strategy as being a leader, or are you going to kind of learn from the veterans first? Uh, when I come in, I'm, I'm going to learn first. I definitely, uh, like my first year in college, I, I did a lot of learning from the older guys. Uh, i just going to go out there and play hard, but as my years go on, I want to jump into that leadership role. So uh, this first year, I'm gonna do a lot of listening, a lot of learning from the guys here. So That's a good idea. Yeah. Is there someone specific on the team that you play like or that you say, okay, I'm definitely taking advice from this player? It's a lot of different guys on this team I could take advice from because uh, this team has been built like some dogs and a lot of guys are playing with a lot of chips on their shoulders and I can see myself fitting in with everyone. So uh, just the effort that I bring, the mentality I bring, I could learn a lot from a lot of different guys. Is there someone on the team specifically that you say you play like? And if so, who? Uh, I don't think I play any like anyone on the team, but I definitely see myself uh, fitting in the role on the team, just uh, the effort side. Uh, a lot of different guys have different skill sets, like Trey Murphy, he's a, more of a wing. Uh, Herb Jones, he's more of a wing as well, but I can see myself fitting into the role of just being like a guy who could play the four, three, four, five as well. So okay. uh, just me fitting in like that. Well, that's good. and that's a good way to be as a rookie, just kind of mm -hmm. fitting in and then figuring everything out yeah. as you go. So what have you thought of New Orleans so far? Uh, so I just got here yesterday, but I know I came here once to visit my uncle and it was a really cool city. Uh, my cousin goes to LSU, so um, All right. he's gonna show me around and whatnot, but I'm really excited to learn about New Orleans. So. Have you had any of our cuisine yet? No, I have not. Mm -hmm. What is going to be the first thing that you try and you say, okay, I have to have this because I'm in Louisiana and I want some Cajun food? Uh, I don't know. I have no idea. I know I heard the seafood was really, really good. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Maybe some guess. crawfish? Yeah. I told, my uncle told me about some oysters that they have down here that are really good. So I'm looking forward to trying all different types of food. I love that. How do you feel like your college career prepared you for the NBA? Uh, playing in the Big Ten, honestly, was really, really awesome. Just because uh, the level, the le talent level in the Big Ten, and uh, just me going out there every single day, uh, putting in work every single day, just like the pros do. I mean, this is a job now, so I feel like me uh, just stacking days and me working on my game is going to help me in the NBA level. So. And speaking of work, summer league is going to be starting. You know, yeah. what do you hope to get from summer league? 
Uh, I hope to just learn from Summer League, honestly. Uh, this is gonna be a new experience, a uh, different type of role that I would have because this past year, my usage rate was through the roof just because uh, I was one of the leaders on the team. But right now, I'm looking forward to just learning, going out there, uh, and just playing with a chip on my shoulder. All right. Is there one thing specifically that you hope to gain during Summer League? Uh, I hope to to gain some chemistry between my teammates. That's one thing uh, I love, uh, just learning different guys' games. And uh, I feel like that helps on the court, just learning people's games and just getting a bond with the different guys off the court as well. So. All right, have they had any advice for you so far? Uh, I know CJ McCollum texted me like the night of the draft. Uh, just <laughs> what do you say? Just welcoming me, uh, just saying congrats and um, just looking forward to it. Uh, so I'm really excited about it, really excited to meet everyone on the team. So. That's really good. And it's nice that they're already being welcoming to you. I'm sure that that kind of put you at ease. Yeah, uh -huh, for sure. I, I heard this team has a lot of good guys, so I'm looking forward to a great program. Every kid who loves basketball growing up always has their favorite team, their favorite player. Who was your idol growing up? I know you have to have one. Yeah, so my favorite player was Kobe Bryant. Why? And my favorite big man was Shaquille O'Neal. Okay. Uh, I just like Kobe Bryant because he shot the fadeaway a lot. So, you know, like everybody's <laughs> like shoot something in the trash can. He yells Kobe. That's my thing. So, like my Twitter name is 2432 because of uh, Kobe and Shaq. So, uh, I've always been a Lakers fan, but now I'm a big Pelicans guy. So Okay, <laughs> yeah. I like it. Uh, so, is it safe to say that you cannot wait to play the Lakers? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Are you going to start practicing on some trick shots? No, nah, I'm just going to stick to my game. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to step outside the box yet. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe later down the road, mm -hmm. once yeah. you're a veteran. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Um, tell us a little bit about this week. What has it been like? Has it been fans rushing up to you being like, okay, you are in the NBA, I want your autograph? Or has it just been kind of quiet and quiet and you've just taken a back seat? It's definitely been the first one. It's been a lot of people, because I was back in my hometown, like watching my little brother's games, uh, working out and whatnot, and it's just been a lot of kids asking for pictures, people asking for pictures. Uh, even when I got landed yesterday in the airport, it was like a lot of people asking for pictures. Uh, and it's really exciting. Uh, I'm an NBA player now, and uh, it really hasn't, it, it kind of kicked in, but until I put on that jersey, it really kicked in. So. And you told me before this interview that people were already coming up to you in the airport that had to be surreal, and you were kind of like, oh yeah, like, yeah, oh, that's at me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm a really laid back guy, so uh, just people coming up as like staring at me and whatnot. I don't know if they're like staring at me for the right reasons or not. So, <laughs> all right, uh, it's gonna be different. So, well, you better get ready because yeah. the saying here in New Orleans is if you love New Orleans, the fans will love you back. Yeah. So, get ready. I know all the fans are gonna be excited yeah, that you're here. Sure. <laughs> yep. Tell us a little bit about your experience on the court. Where was your strong suit? and where do you hope to better and maybe learn this next year in the NBA? Uh, so my, my strong suit is my effort and uh, just how I play on the defensive end. I really want to get better at just guarding all different positions because uh, this team that here right now is really versatile at guarding a lot of positions and uh, that's what I want to learn. I want to guard uh, the guards out there. I want to guard CJ McCollum a lot, Brandon Ingram. Just uh, get better at those because the more I do it, the better I'm going to get. So uh, coming in here, I just have to learn and just get more reps and do di thing, different things like that. So. All right. Is there one thing that you think that you're really strong that you can bring to improve this team? Uh, I definitely think just my versatility, uh, just on the offense end as well as the defense end. Uh, in college, I definitely found mismatches uh, just because sometimes if a guy my height is guarding me, they're not as strong as me. Uh, as well as like if a guy was taller than me, I would take him out on the perimeter. Smaller than me, I would post him up. So uh, just using my versatility on both sides of the ball will help. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Welcome Appreciate to New Orleans. Yep. We're excited, excited that you're here. Yep.